Hi, I'm Scott Harvey, and I'm here to tell you about the lab in winemaking. Really, we don't make wine. Mother Nature makes the wine. Louis Pasteur figured out that it was the yeast and it was organisms, bacteria, that really fermented the sugars in wine and turned it into alcohol and into wine. And uh, by knowing the life cycles of these uh, organisms and what makes them live and not live, what I do basically is create an environment so that Mother Nature will either let these organisms live or not live and takes it down this path instead of another path. So I want the wine to stop at the point where, uh, where it goes. It's a natural process from, from sugar or juice to vinegar and I want it to stop at the alcohol stage and not pick up any of the vinegar stage. So we pull samples of our wines once a month and we do lab work on them. And I'm going to go through the different lab tests that we do here. So that, that with that information then I can see where the wine is in that process that Mother Nature is taking it down. And I can make my best decisions possible on what to do with the wine so it goes in the direction that we as winemakers want it to go. Okay, so the first set, test I do with the wine is free SO2 or sulfur. And uh, I always want to do that test first because it's uh, once I pull wine out of the sample bottle, then the air in it will de will diminish the sulfur or, or, or make it lower. So the for the so the first test, the most important is pulling is doing the free SO2. So we start with 20 mils of sample. This is a, a uh, pipette that's measured to exactly 20 mils. And sulfur, sulfur's been added to wine since the Roman Empire. It's an antioxidant. And most of the organisms that uh, um, work on wine need oxygen to live. They're what we call aerobic. So if I can keep the oxygen out, then I can keep the vinegar bacteria from growing in the wine or the acetobacter. But at the time when I want the yeast to work, then I want a little oxygen in there. So I don't want any sulfur because of that because they will need oxygen as well. So you notice I'm putting the wine in this uh, beaker very, very gently so I don't blow any of the free SO2 out of the wine. So now we have our 20 mils. We add a reagent, 10 mils. This is a vacuum aspirator. And this is like the Frankenstein movies. You'll see it bubbling away. And if you notice, that went from green to purple right away. And uh, we'll, we'll pull all the free SO2 into this section here. And then we'll titrate it to find out how much free SO2 there is in the wine. Okay, now we're back to the first test. We're ready for our titration. This was the free SO2. So we take this beaker here, and we're going to come over here, and we, we check our, our, this is 0 0.01 normal sodium hydroxide, and we'll look at it here, and we know it's at zero. So watch the beaker here, and you'll see as we titrate, when it turns green, we have hit our end point. See, there you go, there it turned green, just right there. So now we read off how much titration material it took, which is 1.8 mils. And we have 1.8 times a coefficient of 16, which tells us that there's 28.8 parts per million of free SO2 in that wine, or 29 parts per million.